It's the 13th and final week of this chilly battle. That's 12 full weeks of growth and round 12 of the battle. So we're going to call it now. Remember, both our LED and HID lights are biased towards the blue spectrum, which is most commonly used for vegetative growth. We kept all other factors, growing media, nutrients, nutrient delivery cycle, light cycle, pest control, and nutrient boosts consistent. We want to know, just as much as you do, which of these light systems is most effective. Let's have a quick look over the 12 weeks of growth. Here are the LED for. With a final height of 64 centimeters. And here is the progress of our HID grown for. Topping out with a final height of 124 centimeters. So, at the end of round 12, here they both are. LED with a total height of 64 centimeters and a maximum flower output of 122 blooms against the HID4 with a total height of 124 centimeters and 275 flowers at their peak. Our final battleground is the cost of running. That's 25 pounds and seven pence for the LED4 versus 33 pounds and 84 pence for the HID4. The additional 25% power usage ratio has stayed constant throughout the test. It's pretty clear to us that even with the additional power usage, the HID lights are a much more effective and efficient way to grow plants. Our HID grown four are literally twice the height and have produced twice the number of flowers within the control conditions of our test. The HID lights are the outright winners of the Chile battle. We ran this 150 watt Minimax reflector with the 150 watt Sunmaster metal halide against the 140 watt SP110D LED. We feel that although LED lighting holds promise for the future, in its current form on the consumer market, it has some way to go before it outstrips HID lighting. That was week 13 and the end of this battle. If you're gonna grow indoors, Grow with HID lights.